Hey, what up everyone? I'm Cine Cool, and this is Gems of War. And today, uh, uh, we're going to be doing the Vault event mostly here on live stream. I also have a little announcement for a reward incentive. Trying to get, trying to get that 4,000 subscribers. So I'll give you guys a reward if we can get there. I know a lot of you listening are probably already subscribed. So, um, you know, there's ways you can help out still. Uh, but, yeah, if we can get to 4,000 subscribers, so that's... Last I checked, we needed, like, somewhere around 115. Um, so if we can get there in two weeks, so... It was starting yesterday night, so... Two weeks from yesterday, which would be April 2nd... If we can get to 4,000 subscribers by April 2nd, um, I will do an extra live stream, uh, Gems of War After Dark. So, yeah, an extra live stream, Gems of War After Dark at night time. At least an hour long, could go longer, who knows. And, uh, yeah, that's what we're going to do. Just announcing it at the beginning of this. I'll probably be talking about it for at least a week or so, just so everybody has a chance to hear about it. And uh, subscribe. So, yeah. Um, and if you're already subscribed, you can, uh, make another account somehow. I know I'm just, I'm beating around the bush with that, but, uh, simply, uh, and to the point, you could just make another account somehow, and, or tell your guild about the channel, and get somebody else to subscribe, one or two people from your guild, because you know that they play the game, they probably wouldn't mind watching, ETC. But yeah, normally we get around 150 subscribers a month. So that's why how I come up with the number in the time frame is um, that normally we get like 150. So in two weeks, we should be able to get, you know, I wanted to make it a little bit more difficult than normal. So 115 in two weeks, uh, you get a reward. That's why, okay, normally we'd get like 75 in two weeks. It's a little bit more, I know, 40 m more, but... Let's see if we can do it in two weeks. So April 2nd is the deadline to get to 4,000 subscribers. Ways you can help. Make another account somehow. Your sister, your brother, your dog, your grandma. Um, or tell a guild member. Or if you're not subscribed, just simply subscribe. It's pretty easy. So yeah, and that'll give you a extra live stream. Um, and it'll be Gems of War After Dark. And I'll let you guys like pick what we do the entire time. You know? Something like that. It's the best thing I can think of. Other than like a like faceless one said, uh, do a 24-hour live stream, but that's not not gonna happen. So <laughs> that's not gonna happen. And what up, everyone? What up, uh, Elite Gaming, Faceless One, U7? Uh, what up, Tim? What up, everybody? Uh, let's get started. I gotta clicky clack and move the screen. Incoming world event. What's this one? A new world event is starting soon. What's that? Like a little. Bobcat or something? What'd you guys call that? A bobcat? I don't know. Alright. Taking tribute. But yeah, I got I'm gonna be talking about the dang subscriber subscribe subscribe subscribe. Uh for the next week or so just to like, see if we can make it. I thought we well, you know, I don't know. Anyway. It's been down lately, basically. Down by, like, uh... At least 10%. More than that, actually. Like, 20%. Alright, let's see. i turn that on. Let me join the chat. Let me join the chat. Don't forget to hit that like button. You bet it skulls again? Yeah, probably. Is the sound good, everyone? I know I say that all the time, but it's... Like my worst nightmare to be doing a live stream and like nobody can hear me. Wake up with cold sweats. Uh, let's see. Um, got to do our cardio. I only did a little bit of the vault so far. Yesterday was like you can get battle crashers and gnomes yesterday. So some people found that annoying and others uh, took advantage of all the extra gold. Oh, wow, we just went up to 3.89 just right now. I just watched it go up. That's pretty cool. So that means we have 110 to go. So it's exactly 110 people we need right now. 
to get to 4,000. By the way, this is my 800th video. Did you guys know that? This is my 800th video. 800. 800th video. I didn't know that, and I just saw that the other day, and I'm like, wow, I'm going to put that in like a title or something. This is my 800th video. All right, hopefully this don't blare out. Uh, nope, didn't blare out, so I'm going to join the chat. And then we'll get going, so don't worry, be happy, don't run away, pen message, subscribe. Alright, so yeah, I did uh, whatever here, I did 5, then I did 10, then I did 15, then I did 12, so whatever that is. Uh, 42, if my math is correct, 42 gnomes. It's spell next week, okay. Hamish says it's spell next week. Yeah, that's what I would think it would be. We like to joke and say it's going to be skulls, though. <laughs> okay. What am I doing? Phonesia. Weapon doesn't matter. If you guys see me using some weird weapon, it's probably from one of the uh, campaign tasks. So don't copy me straight on that weapon. Thanks, Elite Gaming. I think that's a ton, man. 800. That's a lot. 800 videos. That's quite a few. And a lot of them are like this, like an hour long or 30 minutes long. So if you add up all the time, it's not just a bunch of eight-minute videos. It's uh, a lot of them. Some of them are five hours long, six hours long. That one's six hours long. Some are three, two. A lot of them are one hour long. So that's a lot of minutes and hours. Whoop whoop, says Benito. What up, Benito? But yeah, if we can get to that 4,000 subscriber mark by April 2nd, that was the two weeks to get 115. Just to make it a little bit... Because I'm going to get there either way. So to make it something that's uh, not too hard, but worth um trying for and making an incentive and a reward and whatnot thought i would make it by april 2nd two weeks so i'll get there eventually either way why not i gotta try to get there a little sooner to give the reward i feel like we've been limping our way there for a while now so i'm like ready to just get there hey jimmy who's jimmy <laughs> Who is Jimmy? All right, let's go. Uh, what up, Kevin? Oh, what up, Jimmy? I see. Jimmy Williams, what up, dude? Thank you. I gotta look at my uh, I gotta look at my laptop. I'm like, who's Jimmy? <laughs> yeah, I see. <laughs> Saw a little bit too late there. Sorry, Jimmy. What up, dude? You was on the last stream? Nah, I, mean, I said that because uh, I didn't get to see your thingy until I looked at my laptop. Sorry, Jimmy. Alright. Yeah, I remember you. It didn't have the last name or nothing when uh, Faceless One said it, so I'm like, what? Jimmy. I was just watching uh, At Dead of Night, and the guy's name is Jimmy. Uh, so yeah, I remember. I said Jimmy the Bully or At Dead of Night. Yeah, I remember that. See? See? I have proof that I remember. I talked about Bully and that did of night. And then I said Jimmy Dean. Yeah, I remember that. Like one hour of upset P99. <laughs> yeah. Kevin. That is pretty true. I'm just trying to give them a chance to, uh, you know, you sit your kid down and you tell them this is their last chance. You're disappointed in them, and this is their last chance or else they're grounded. So that's what I was saying in that video. It, plus, it was 11 at night. So that's what you guys are going to get for your reward. So I'm sure you're going to go ahead and get those subscribers, because then you get a grumpy cine at nighttime for your reward. Just like on that one hour of Upset P99. Hey, John, thanks, man. Appreciate you. You should make guides. Yeah, for what? Guides for this or guides for that? Oh, you mean on 
uh, EverQuest? Yeah, I guess. It's hard to make a guide, though. Like, um... What kind of guide would I do? What's the first thing that pops in your head as a guide? Like, platforming or something? Kind of just showing my journey as I learn the game. Because I haven't played it in 20 years, so I'm, a, I'm not, It's like I don't... I'm not an expert at it, so... I would hate to make a guide. Like, I can make guides on, um... Gems of War, and I can make guides on, like, Dark Souls, because I'm an... I'm an quote-unquote expert. Because... And, uh, um... Unlike EverQuest, I'm not... I'm not an expert, so... I, I would hate... I don't like making guides when I when I'm when I don't consider myself smarter than the average viewer. So on EverQuest, people that watch are probably smarter than me. Yeah, maybe like uh We're gonna do the J boots. I mean I could make that a guide. Mr. Faceless one in the chat there and me are probably gonna do J boots. I mean, I'm pretty much showing people places that they can farm plat or get experience. That is, those are guides, kind of. That's too common. Well, at some point, everybody's done everything. Thanks again, John and Jimmy. Appreciate it. This weekend was originally going to be a new faction delve for more Grosh Knock troops. Ooh. What up, John? What up, uh, Strodium? Do quests on the wiki that not a lot of people know about. I need to get Sekiro, yeah. I'm thinking about doing a Souls... Souls Sunday. Souls Sunday, because... That's like my favorite game series. From Software, any kind of Souls. Dark, from Dark Souls, all the way to Sekiro... And everything in between. Even Demon Souls. Um, I'm thinking about doing that. Souls Sunday on live stream. Like an extra live stream every week. But it will be Dark Souls. Something Dark Souls. What up David? How's it going? Well so far got six bolt keys, one epic and four pity keys. Also got my second Nisha medal. Nice. He says all good man, just a shame to hear the last vid was raging. <laughs> uh, hello all. Don't let P99 get to you for views, everyone even the most popular YouTuber. Yeah, I saw that. I was looking at um somebody's channel the other day, like after I did that. And I seen AC Gamer only had like 40 views too. I was like, man, I'm complaining here, but even that guy has only like 40. But then you hear, I get tells every day, Kevin, in the game, like, so good to see somebody doing new content for the game. And I hear like people every time, I, every time I log on, there's somebody sending me a tell saying that they watch my video. And it's so nice that people are doing content for the game. But then I look at my views and I get like 40 views. And I'm like, what's my incentive to continue here? You do? Dang, man. 50k subs on my second channel, Kevin, Kevin Game. Haven't uploaded in six years. Wow. You must not like money then. I'm just kidding. I guess it depends how many views you get. That's the thing about subs, like, I don't really, like, the difference between 3,890 and 4,000 really doesn't matter at all. It's just a number that I get to, like, I want to see that for, but, um, like, it doesn't make me get, a, like, a lot more money or anything. It's just, uh, it's kind of just a frivolous trophy thing. So once you hit 1,000, it doesn't really matter how many subs you have after that. You could get... You could have a thousand subscribers and make videos that get 50,000 views. And uh, get just as much money as somebody with 50,000 subscribers. It's nice, but don't be grasping for views. Yeah, I did it once. 
Your guild, your guides are very informative. Right? That's good, man. Uh, let's take my. Ma oh yeah, here's my vault keys. I accidentally, I accidentally took one. Um, I wanted to save them and leave them in here, but I accidentally took one. Let's grab this crap though. Um, and what game do you do, Kevin? Man, I might have to mute for a second. Hold on. There we go. All right. Let's start with the vault here. Uh, I was doing uh, Cinema Mirage. You guys said Wild Plains was working for you. Watch Wild Plains for me. I'll, I'll do Wild Plains. Not this. Uh, this. Explore. Uh, no turns for you. Class and stuff doesn't matter. There has been a lot of things I have avoided because of your guys. That's good, man. Yeah, there's some... Uh, what you might call it's in this game? Some pitfalls and traps and whatnot. Well, they'll, they'll try to get you to pay for stuff you don't really need to buy, and you can spend your keys the wrong way, and you can buy the wrong stuff, and you can, you know, save this instead of instead of getting your instead of buying whatever mythic. The first time you get four thousand diamonds, you don't just buy whatever. You have to wait and get the right mythic and make teams the right way, and yeah. Oops, I don't know why I took extra turn there. But let's see, maybe... I, I feel like I was running into Swamp Lash or somebody. Maybe it was not this... What 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 did uh, Elite Gaming say? Uh, how much did Elite Gaming have? 19 keys plus pity and two epics. Yeah, I always include pity. If you're going to tell me how many keys you got, just include pity. I don't know why people don't do that. Just include it. Please just include it. I don't need to do math. I don't need to do math. Just include all your keys in one. Don't know why people do that. Oh, cool, yeah. Turn all the way down and then it... Uh, Alright. Let's keep it moving. Vault. Alright. The enemy doesn't even get a turn. Going for these power orbs. Major orbs. Minor orbs. All the big uh, hits, like 50,000 gold and stuff like that. Sometimes you can get, like, 75 diamonds. Bunch of glory. All that good stuff. That's why we do this. I was thinking about maybe farming class experience. I am saving my gems and shards for a good mythic. I wrote down what you suggested. That's good, man. Your gems and shards for a good mythic. Yeah, you don't want to buy, like, death or something, or, or amnesia or some weird mythic. You want to wait and get uh, High King Iron Guts. People have been downplaying High King. I, I don't get it. Even if you don't have, like, enough stats to have close to 100 strength, he's still good. If you have 50 strength, you have a 50-50 chance to devour and get an extra turn. Like, who doesn't want that? He's definitely the top, one of the top mythics. Not like Megavor. I don't know why people are weirdos out there. You want, you want High King Iron Gut, no matter what, no matter where you're at. Then you could take on content that you couldn't normally take on. Will you sometimes have a 50-50 chance of devouring? Yes, but just try again. 
then once you get that devour, you're going to win. No problem, Kevin. Thank you, man. I appreciate the advice. Appreciate it. Keep on watching those EverQuest videos if you want to keep them going. That's all I ask. Just keep watching them. Don't take very much effort to click a little clicky. Click. It takes a little more effort to make the video than it takes to just click real quick to uh, make sure I keep making them. That's all I'm saying. Your 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 side is super duper easy. You just click a button. I have to make a whole video. Uh, if you're hitting, if you're watching the stream, hit the like button. Currently, 28 watching, only 12 likes. Thanks, John. Gavin says, I have the two Iron Hawks, and I still prefer to use Rowan because of the class XP, but I'm only level... Hey, man, you do you. I feel you on that one. I was trying to decide if I wanted to farm class experience, too. I might show it in this video here. I might switch over to class experience. HKI is the boss in Delves, getting to 500 easy mode with him. Yeah, people have been pooping on him. I've heard it. I don't know who. It's like commenters. It's not like a. It's not Mr. T or anybody. Like you guys probably always think I'm talking about Mr. T or some other uh, streamer. But I'm top, talking of like commenters. I don't even know if they're on mine, but maybe you know just commenters around on forums and other people's videos, just around and in like my guild chat and like uh, on community boards and whatnot. So it's not always what you think. I'm not talking about like somebody else best way to farm xp uh just doing what we're doing here pretty much you don't really want to farm e xp you want to farm like everything else but if you wanted to the only time you can get extra experience for like your hero is if you win guild wars i think so after winning Guild Wars, do a lot of Explorer, I think. Your team this week, I bought up to the weapon like you suggested and ended up 85th on PC and got a free Chaos Orb. Nice. Love it. Do you use the Akalaren team? I've been using that too, man. It's like, I mean, if that's the one you're using. Strogenrog, what up, man? I'm trying to keep up with this chat. I'm sorry. What up, strong and wrong? Um, Gavin. I have the two Iron Hawks. Still prefer to use Rowan. Yeah. Yeah, Nikki. I think it's just doing something like this. There's no real, like, reason to do it. You do get stats, but it takes a long time in between, like, eventually. Like, I'm not going to get another stat till 1400, I think. And it's one stat. It's like one of something. So eventually you need to like not even worry about that. And just let it happen. And and farm like souls or gold. It's probably people that have HKI and not got the stats. They need to watch your videos to get the stats up. Yep. Yep. And they probably don't know how to do horde level and horde quality and stuff. So they're just going naked into a delve and like, what? How come he doesn't devour? How come he's not devouring? Uh, he doesn't do it right away and make me win? I can't push the win button? Where's the win button, guys? Where's the win button, guys? Hmm? I thought when I got this guy, it's going to win automatically. Why am I taking extra turns, dude? Dumb dumb. What up, James Jenkins? Welcome back, dude. So I have 6,000 diamonds, and I'm holding out for Ra, and I tried to find out if he's still in this rotation, but I don't understand Terran's world. Any chance you could do a video on that? Yeah, I don't understand it either. Um, I usually... You can watch my videos. I know this is annoying. I used to keep track of it, but in all my Monday videos, I show all the troops in the Soul Forge, and at some point, I'll say it's a new cycle. So then... After I say it's a new cycle, you could write down every mythic in the Soul Forge that's in my Monday videos. And then you know which ones have been in there. 
then there's a chance that any other mythic could come the next week. It's it's not on any kind of uh, fixed rotation or anything. It's just a pool. It's a pool of mythics. So let's say let's make up a random number because I don't know the exact amount, but let's say there's a hundred mythics in the game, and uh, we start a new cycle. You know, they pull from those 100 mythics, uh, four random mythics. And that's what's in the Soul Forges that week. So the next week after that, those four that were in there are now no longer in there. And then you now have 96 mythics that they can randomly pull from. They pull four more. Now you have 92 mythics they can randomly pull from. So they keep pulling randomly from the pool of all the mythics. But they take out the ones that have already been in there already been in the soul forge so the more weeks that go by the more likely it is that your certain mythic's going to be in there and they all get a turn and then once everyone's had a turn that's when it's the new cycle and then it's everybody's back in so the only way you can really tell anything about the soul forge and what's going to be in there is by process of elimination you eliminate the stuff that's already been in there then there's a chance that any one of those other mythics could be in there. So there's no real way to tell what's going to be in there except for that. And I used to keep track, but I just, it's, I don't know. It's just, uh, it was getting annoying to keep track. Like after a certain amount of weeks, you got to write a ton of mythics down. I still haven't figured out why this thing goes off every 20 minutes. I'm sorry, guys. I don't know why I didn't figure that out in between last time and this time. I need to get out the manual and, like, read it. I told Faceless when I was going to do that on stream. I think I'm going to read the freaking manual on stream so that way I'd do it. I wasn't even joking, either. Ferris Ra is still in the rotation, but there are more Mythics now to get... Yeah, every time they release a new one... It's eventually in the pool. I'm getting this manual out. <laughs> you thought I wouldn't do it. Let's make this as boring as possible. Alright, let's uh, do some... There we go. I haven't had any trouble in Wild Plains yet. I thought I did, I swear. I thought I did, I swear. Usage. Um, I probably just need to go to my settings on PS4. Hmm. Oh well. I'll read it when I'm not on live stream. Sorry. I was hoping I could see something real quick about how to turn that off. Because I feel like an idiot that I it's been it's been on still it's still on i still haven't figured it out hey what up uh guy Dralis? what up there are 44 mythics and gems at the minute i <laughs> i said 100 with terran's world if you see three weeks since last seen you'll be waiting a while for it as opposed to one that has not been seen in say 17 weeks yeah right 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 yeah i know that's a thing but it it gets a... It, I don't know. It's annoying. It's kind of annoying. But yeah, that is how it works. The longer it says since it's been seen, the more of a chance that it, it will be in there. Like, uh... Strodium said there. Um, do you think... What did James say? Do you think this is a good low-level team? Cedric Sparklesack, Rowan, Yao Gui with plus four black manacles. <clears throat> yeah, that sounds great. I mean, black man, all those troops are good. Cedric will give you the extra gold. I mean, it depends if you're farming gold and stuff. I mean, you could take Cedric off your team and put something else, maybe. Let's see. Rowan, Yao Gui, black manacles. Maybe put a, um, uh, uh... Put a mana generator on there instead of Cedric. I know you like that extra gold probably, but uh, I would take off Cedric. And I would put on a mana generator. So you got green, blue, red, 
uh, what is Yao Guay again? Dang it. Red, green. You got green, blue, red, uh, brown, and purple. Green, blue, red. So you got two green troops. You could do like a, uh, forest troll. Or, uh, yeah, that'd be cool. Maybe forest troll, Rowan, Yao Guay. No, no, no. Um,. Do Black Manacles, Forestroll, Roe, and Yao Gui or something. Uh, yeah. Something like that. If you want to keep that team and, and just tweak it a little bit. If that's what you're looking for. Yeah, like Leprechaun. That's a good one. Leprechaun, there you go. Fully traded Leprechaun, even better. Good idea, Jimmy. Jimmy, a good addition to the centers. You'll be getting your shout-out uh, probably tomorrow, Jimmy. Thank you so much. We got a new smart member of the choir. Thanks, Jimmy. Yeah, put Leprechaun on. Take Cedric off. You'll thank us later. Put Leprechaun on the bottom of your team, but make sure he's fully traded. Always cast him first. He'll get everyone else up. Then you can cast either your Manacles or your Rowan. And then look for alignment with your Yao Gui. You could probably even, like, take Yao... Yao Gui is awesome, though, so I wouldn't take him off, just because... But yeah, you thought of your own thing. <laughs> you asked the question and then thought of your own troop. Yeah, take Cedric off and put on a uh, Leprechaun. Good idea. Uh... You got mad every time Leprechaun appeared and not a Loot Goblin? <laughs> Yeah, it just, uh, it looks like you're getting Battle Crashers instead of Gnomes, but that's not the case. If you look closely, if that was the case, then you would watch the, uh, the Battle Crasher would replace the Gnome. If you look quickly before the battle starts, you can tell which troop the, uh, Battle Crasher overwrites. So if that was the case, the Gnome would already be there, and the Battle Crasher would overwrite the Gnome, and you could watch it happen. So that never happens, so that's not happening unless you saw that and if you saw that please uh get some video of it just click the share button if you're on ps4 if that ever actually happens because i was kind of watching it to make sure it didn't happen and i never saw it happen once and i got stuff recorded and i can slow it down and watch it and it never happened another vault key let's see how many we got here i don't even know where i'm at sorry if i'm missing messages um, I got 13, so I've gotten 7 so far. I'm not sure if I I started with 5 or 6, but I just said 6 to make it, I don't know, the less. That way I'm not claiming I got more than I actually did. So I'm saying I started with 6, so I got 7 so far. Plus I have 2. I'm going to go collect them, that way I know. Let's go grab them. So I've been, I've been doing okay here. I got 16 last vault event. So I'm trying to do better than that. Okay, yeah. So I've gotten 9 vault keys so far. I'm trying to get 17. That's my goal. I guess Wild Plains, we're not having any... I don't know what I was talking about then. The stream will be on YouTube after it ends. Nikki... Definitely. Always. Sometimes it takes a certain amount of time. Um, with live streams, they don't always go up right away. Like, sometimes they take time to render and post. Sometimes they go up right away. I don't get it. But just know that um, it will be up eventually. It might take all the way till tomorrow, but it will be up eventually. Sometimes, for some reason, it takes longer than other times. Sometimes it's up right away. And sometimes it takes a whole freaking day. So, I think that's why it gets a little bit less views, too. There's no, like, um, thumbnail. It's a longer video. And it posts weirdly later. So, it's like my worst viewed video of every week is my live stream. But not really, because we have the, the live portion, which is always good. Alright, 
I got 26 vault keys and 4 epic keys in the last vault event. Dang, John. You must have been grinding hard. You got 10 more than me and 4 more epics than me. Gydralis says, I just got Infernal King. Any team recommendations? Ugh. Man, I was never an Infernal King guy. Sorry. I would just look at his conversions and, like, try to create the stuff that he needs to convert, you know? I can go look of, look at him if you want. Infernal King. He's really not, um... He's really not, um, meta right now. He's not, like, really that good right now. Infernal King. Let me look at him. I'll try to give you a little bit of direction without actually taking too long. Infernal King. Alright, you got convert green gems to skulls. So you want to make some sort of green, first of all. So, um, find a troop that can make green. Brown gems to red. Also a troop that can make brown or red. So maybe apothecary. Um, or you can use, like, flamifer. Um, green gems to skulls and brown gems to red. The mountain crusher would be good because you get a dust arm. Then you could turn the brown gems to red. So for your weapon, I would say mountain crusher or flamifer. And then, um, you need somebody to get him up. Purple and yellow. Like an alchemist, or, like, leprechaun's always good. Um, and then I guess you'd want another kind of skull person. Maybe Moira? Doesn't Moira? No, she does the exact same thing, doesn't she? Red. Do you have a uh, Glaceon, right? Glaceon might be good. Glaceon, Infernal King. Uh, I would say Flamifer, Infernal King, Glaceon, uh, Alchemist, or Leprechaun. Something like that. Try that. Let me know. I'm not a, the best team builder ever, by the way. I'm, I, I give myself like a B right now. Like a B minus. So. Especially like spur of the moment. Without time to think about it. I would have to like go in, put them on a team, move the troops around, try it for a while, replace a certain troop out, make a different class, use a different weapon, try it. You know, replace a troop out, use it for a while. Repla you know, it would take me a minute. But yeah, that's what I would say. Something like that. A mana generator is always good. Always look at the stuff that he converts. That way you can somehow incorporate that into your team. Um, a strong tank. Some, some other troop that does skulls along with him would help. It would be good. That's why I said Glaceon, if you happen to have it. Or like a doomed weapon. If you use the right doomed weapon, that might be good too. There you go, man. In a good way, right, Jimmy? Hopefully not a bad way. <laughs> James says, epics don't exist. We know this, Cinny. Yeah, I agree. I've only ever gotten one. I got one pretty quickly after they came into the game, and I've never got another one. So I have the uh, achievement, but that's it. I can't cry too much, though, because there's probably people out there that never got one at all. So, I'm, like, happy that I actually got one, but that's all I've gotten ever. But, hey, I've gotten a power orb from a chaos orb, so I can't be whining too much. But yeah, remember to subscribe. Let's get to 4,000. Go tell your guild. Make your dog an account. I probably shouldn't be saying these things. I just want to get there. So saying things I shouldn't say about making extra accounts and whatnot. I'm sure YouTube doesn't appreciate that. But uh, I'm just, I want to get there. I don't care. By any means necessary, let's get to 4K so I can shut up. And then 5K will be so far away that I probably won't say anything about it for like at least six months.
Then we won't really have anything to shoot for for a while. And maybe we can do something with the members again or something. But I always, you know, I said, hey, it was, if we get to 40 members, I'll do a six hour live stream. And I did it. I tried to do it immediately. It didn't work. We had technical difficulties. I did it the week after that. You guys see how I I always hold, I always uh, keep my word. So we will do an extra live stream at night. For people that don't like getting up super early. I'll do one at night. It'll be a Gems of War After Dark. We'll do it late. Like 11 or 12 at night. And then who knows how long we'll go. At least an hour though. I could be really grumpy that night. We might only go an hour. Or I might like have some weird boost of energy and go all night you never know that would be the time where we could break the six hours if i somehow got some crazy boost of energy during the gems of war after dark stream that would be the time to to break it to beat six hours and five seconds or i think it was 15 seconds for some reason for some reason it says like five seconds somewhere and then it says 15 seconds somewhere else so either way whatever let's go to six hours and one minute We'll break it. I'm not saying that's what we're going to do. I'm just saying it's possible. It could happen. That's a uh, thing that might happen if we do the Gems of War After Dark, which isn't a given. Because getting, getting 110 subscribers in two weeks is not, not easy. So it might not happen at all. That's the whole point of a reward and something to try for, you know? You could fail. It's not as satisfying if you are just going to get there no matter what. You got to have like this danger of failing. Make it something that's a good accomplishment if it happens. Don't just make it something that's going to happen either way no matter what. That's why I, I, I didn't just pull the number out of my butt. I kind of looked at my analytics, saw how much we normally get, and I just upped it by a tiny bit. Maybe use reverse psychology. Yeah, that works sometimes, man. Um, James says, See, it's times like this where you gotta buy stuff in the game that you just sacrifice your birthday gifts and tell everyone get you online gift cards. I only have one of the five war banners. Yeah, me too, man. I, I, I think I only have one. Like, I haven't even bought it yet because I'm scared to buy it. Because I only have enough for one. What up, the gamer? What up, dude? Never had an epic key, and so no ache, nor have I any war coins on the X-Bone. They want cash for achievements. Yeah, I agree, Strodium. Yeah, Jimmy, that sounds good, man. Let me up straight away. Nice. HKI should be in Forge soon, says Dan Quayle. What up, Dan? Epics don't exist, yeah. I still can't believe how many you got, John. That's crazy. 26 vault keys. Holy crap. And Faceless One said, If it happened like that, you'd still get the rewards for that gnome because the Battle Crasher counts as a kill when it comes in. Oh, does it? I didn't even know that. Wow. You just taught me a mechanic, Faceless One. I didn't know that you got an extra kill when a Battle Crasher came in. Gavin says, are you not on Twitch? No, I'm not on Twitch, Gavin. I do have a... I'm on Twitch, but I'm not... I've never done... I've never done anything there. It just uh, doesn't work as good for me for some reason. I'm a PS4 streamer, mostly. I'm just now dabbling in PC with EverQuest. So the reason I don't do Twitch is because it doesn't work very good on PS4. You get kicked off all the time. It doesn't... I can't even watch Twitch very good. So I can't imagine if I tried to stream on there. I have nothing against Twitch. I think it's cool. I've just always been on YouTube and just YouTube. And um, yeah, just because it's hard enough for me to just watch Twitch. I couldn't even imagine trying to stream on it. This PS4 hates Twitch for some reason. Whenever I watch it, it like kicks me off the internet every five minutes. I'm not allowed to watch it for some reason. So... If I tried to stream it, it would, the stream would probably end every five minutes. I don't know. 
So that's why I'm not on Twitch. I picked YouTube and I'm on YouTube. That's what I'm on. It would probably be good a good uh, move if I moved over to Twitch because there's not very many people doing it over there except for DRock and the developers. Like, I could be the Twitch guy. It's Tacit's already the uh, YouTube guy. I could be the Twitch guy. That would be a smart move. I just can't. It's not... It won't work. It just won't. I could try, I guess. But... I kind of like having all my eggs in one basket. That way, there's no excuse, you know? Like, I'm on YouTube. Here I am. Come to YouTube. Or... Like, if I'm all over the place, then I, like, don't know what I'm doing wrong. Kinda. Uh, Strodium says, use a 50% mana start with your Greed Bronze Lock Pistol with 2 times Cedric Team for Gold Galore. Use this in Level 20 City of Thieves Dell for Golden Showers Galore. Nice. 32 Mythics left in this cycle, says Hamish. Uh, Elite Gaming's on 3 out of 45. Not seen a gnome in a while. Dan Quayle says, no, they go through the whole set, then start again randomly doing them. Yep. Yeah, the only thing you can really figure out with the Mythic Cycle and the Soul Forge is, you know, when a new cycle is, that's pretty obvious, usually. And then what's been in there already that's not going to pop up. The worst part is, like, when is, like, these new Mythics going to be in the Soul Forge? I never know that. Like, uh, Nefertani popped up suddenly, and luckily I had 4,000 diamonds. Lucky for me, I had 4,000 diamonds when she popped up, because I didn't know that that was even possible. I mean, I could have guessed, like, oh, yeah, yeah. Much luck with keys? Nah, I have nine vault keys, Gydralis. Strodium says 44 mythics divided by four mythics each week. Bad math for the 17 weeks since seen. LOL. <laughs> so there's like 11 weeks then? Is that what you're trying to say? So it's an 11 week cycle? Hey, what up, D-Rock? What's up, man? By the way, guys, if you're on Tier 3, I need your video ideas if you want a video, like, really bad. I'm going to send out a message. Just since we got two or three of you here right now. I know two of you already said, never mind. So don't worry if you already said that. I know who you are. I need to send out a dang message, because there's, like, three people out there just floating in the wind that I don't know if they want a video or not. It's kind of, like, on my mind. I would hate to, uh not give somebody a video if they actually wanted one so need to send me leave a comment somewhere let me know if you're on ps4 send me a ps4 message if you don't want to you know if you want to make it private but yeah let me know we're almost at the end of march we're more than halfway through it's like the 20th today or something i got 11 more days till the end of march i really would like to have your idea by then and I usually like to get it done the same month, but um, I don't even have any... I nobody said anything yet, so I might give myself a little extra time if somebody pops up at the last second. But yeah, we got like five or six Puppet Masters. I know two of you don't, don't want anything. And then there's like three or four of you floating out there that I'm not sure... I'm about to take that perk down. Like, that's too much stress for me sometimes. <laughs> Like, I don't like... I don't mind doing it. I need to change it to something else. What should I change the Puppet Master's perk to? Like, I won't change it soon. I won't change it anytime soon. Since uh, we have some new ones. But like in a month or two or three. I need to change that to something else. Maybe just add free... Videos. Or maybe your own video. Like, I'll do a... um extra video a week and just release it to Puppet Masters or something. Or something like that. I'm trying to think of something better. Because once you do, like, a video, it's probably hard for you to come up with something else. And then you probably think you're, like, um, 
get making more work for me or whatever, but it's not that bad. What up, Kimmy? How's it going? Sideways cam was funny. <laughs> what happened? What happened with gnomes and battle crashers now? I don't know. I think the battle crashers are gone. Leppy is amazing. He is make, maxing out all my gold. Yeah, buddy. It might be night in the U.S., but be early hours of the morning in the U.K., right? Well, I gotta, um, sometimes I gotta cater to, uh, like, the U.S., you know? Mostly I cater to other countries, though, because I'm on early every Saturday. The same ones can be one week apart or 22 weeks apart, says Dan Quayle. I've got 4k on both my main and alt going for 8k on my main to get double Draculus or however you spell it. Tim, the only problem was having to lie on my side to watch Kiki's camera video. <laughs> yeah, they were for St. Patrick's Day. I don't know what you guys are talking about. He's holding the cam in my hand. I should have watched, I guess. Dang it. Did you put out a live stream, Kimmy? I can't believe I wasn't there. Did you announce it and everything? Yeah, every Saturday. This one ain't going away. So, people in other countries that are like, Oh, the Gems of War uh, after dark is going to be bad timing for me. Well, you guys get a live stream every single week no matter what. So, like, I'm not going to stop doing this one just because I do one, one, one live stream at night for a reward. It's just to do something different, maybe. Give certain people incentive that aren't subscribed that maybe... That would be good for them, too. It's just something different. A little bit different. Not really that different, but... Yeah, I don't know what I was saying in my video yesterday about Wild Plains. I haven't had any trouble yet. I must have had trouble with, like, a Battle Crasher or something. Smoking the sea. I must have been smoking the sea yesterday. It don't matter, though, because, uh... <laughs> I don't know. Oh well, I'm allowed to make a mistake. Cinema Mirage still works, so... You, I, it, was, it was just showing you you can do it in other kingdoms. So whether I was right or not, it still helps you, because now you know Wild Plains isn't the only kingdom where you can do it. I had a senior moment, yeah. Yeah, you know some uh you know there's been some uh shakeups in my guild by the way. The the lad is no longer the guild leader. It's kind of weird. They they made uh Andy the guild leader now, which is probably the best person it could have been if it was going to be somebody else. So, I'm not too nervous about it cuz he's like probably the best person it could have been if it wasn't Vlad. But just the change is going to be... It's still a little bit, like, anxiety. Just a new new guild leader. Like, I've, Vlad's been a really good guild leader for so long. To now not have him as the guild leader, that's... Makes me anxious a little bit. We don't make mistakes. They are just moments of growth, right? Smoking isn't that bad, says Kimmy. <laughs> yeah, smoking the sea, though. I was being R, the R word. If you had a legendary because its stats were too high. Yeah, maybe. It just happened a bunch of times in a row before I made the video. And I was like, man, this ain't working. So then I said it on the video. But I should have checked into it longer. I think I just had some bad luck for a second. And then I brought it into the video. I don't know. I saw it on the community that you got new management. Right. We got a new guild leader. I don't think anything will change, but, uh... 
We'll see. That's the thing, if you become a new guild leader, you should probably not, if the guild's doing well, you should probably just not change things and just keep it the way it is, at least for a little bit. If you want to start implementing certain little tiny tweaks, I understand, but not right away. You're going to drive people away. Because people are already thinking, oh crap, now we got to, what's going to happen here? How's this going to be different? So if you start changing things too soon, you might drive people away. So I think as like a new, like you see the new president comes in, they don't change everything right away. They kind of keep it the same, make little tiny tweaks here and there. And then when they're like two or three years in, they start changing, making major changes. Because now it's like, you're solidified. So yeah, I don't know. We'll see what happens. Hopefully... <laughs> Somebody can keep me a seat warm somewhere if uh if it goes 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 south. Or I'll just start my new account playthrough and say screw PS4. No, I'm just kidding. I'll never do that. I will do a new account playthrough this year though. Like I said, around halfway, June, July, August. Maybe sooner though. I've been itching to do it recently. I've been itching to play something different too though. It's like, does anybody want, anybody know of like a Steam game, or like a free, mostly the first um, criteria would be that it's free, or really cheap. A free game that you guys would like me to see, like to see me play on this channel, uh, it could be just a one-off or whatever, um, that I can get on for free. From like Steam or good old games or Internet Archive. I was playing like I was playing Oregon Trail the other day. It was pretty funny. I recorded it, but I I want to if I do that game, I want to like have live commentary because it's better. I'm not gonna go back and watch myself play Oregon Trail and do commentary like that's it'd be way too hard. I don't know what I would say. You kind of have to like do live commentary on that type of game so you can kind of say what your thought process is, why you're doing this, why you're doing that. Do you guys remember ever playing that game, that Oregon Trail? I think that'd be funny to put a video up. Put a video up of Oregon Trail. I think that would be funny. I remember looking for it on YouTube just to see if anybody has a video of it. And there's a, there's not that many. There's a couple people, and some of them are real crappy or annoying. Could be something I could get some weirdly high views on. <laughs> <clears throat> My buddy's mom and her brother are guild leaders in the one I'm in. Brother is top guy. Pinky in the brain, I got promoted in third in rank. Feel, felt honored. If it goes south, come north to Canada, right? We got you over here, Cinny. <laughs> All right. You know how it is. You got a new person in charge. You kind of start looking around like, do I got somewhere to go if I need to? Just want to make, you want to get that uh, other horse out of the stable and put the Put the saddle on it and everything. Get it ready to go just in case. Yeah, this horse is uh, a little bit different. I'll, I hope it uh, stays the same. But uh, let's get that other horse ready to go just in case. Why do I keep taking extra turns? I don't need to. Oh, we're almost an hour in. Maybe I'll switch to class experience so we're not doing the same thing the entire time. <clears throat> I'd like to compare... Rowan to Ironhawk as far as class experience farming. So I'm still not sure. I think Ironhawk is more consistent. But it's not like super duper faster. Like over an hour you probably get more battles in. Alright, let's do this until the hour mark and then we'll switch to class experience just to show it. Show you how to do that with your Ironhawks. Maybe even switch to Rowan and see how many battles we can do. Hey, I got a vault key. I want to see how many I got right now. Maybe it'll freeze and I could show you how to get out of that too. Uh, seven? No. I got ten. Man, I don't know how to do math. Oh, nice. I got 11. Man, I'm killing it. 11 Valkyries? I'll definitely get to 17. I feel like it. 
I should get to 17, right? Ding 41, nice faceless one. Killing it. I played a little bit last night, so I'm pretty close to uh, 47, just for the record. I think I got like a bubble and a half till 47. I played a little bit last night. I just did my North Row guards, though. I did like 10 rounds of them. I didn't really do too much. Um, Yeah, let's do our class team here. We just need to put our hero in here. So, I probably don't need to do Frost Mage. I mean, 70 is the is like the goal with Frost Mage, but 100 just looks good. So eventually I want to get it to 100, but with Frost Mage, you only need... Some classes, you only really need to get to 70. So who should I level up? Alright, I got 100 Archer, 100 Arch Magus. Got Assassin, Barbarian... 100 Diabolist. Frost Mage, 75. 100 Monk. 100 Orb Weaver, 100 Plague Lord, 100 Priest. 100 Sentinel. 100 Slayer. 94 Stormcaller. That's pretty close. 100 Sunspear. 100 Thief. Maybe Tidecaller? 100 Titan, 100 Warden. I think uh, I might get the most benefit out of doing like Tide Caller. Hmm. It's really nothing too great, but uh, like I already have all the good stuff. I don't know. Maybe not. What do you guys think? Assassin, Barbarian, Bard, Corsair, Death Knight, Dervish, Doomsayer, Dragon Guard, Frost Mage, Hierophant, Knight, Mechanist, Necromancer, Oracle, Rune Priest, Shaman, Sorcerer, Stormcaller, Tide Caller, Warlord, War Priest. You think Tide Caller or Storm Caller? Yeah, that's what I'm thinking too. Tide Caller or Storm Caller? Storm Caller is so close. Like I should just go ahead and do it. But I use finesse all the time, so I'm like, once I do it, I'm not gonna have anything to level with finesse. So I kind of like doing that when I do that. I think I might go with Tide Caller then. None of this crap matters, I don't think. So yeah, Tide Collar. And then what weapon? Triphylactery. Yeah, I use Dragon Guard with Phoenicia, and I use Shaman with Ferocities, and I use Storm Collar with Finesses. So those are kind of leveling up through through those means. I kind of like it that way, too. I don't want to, like, go out of my way to uh, not have that. All right, so do this just in case, you know. We can get more souls if we somehow get a crazy, weird thing happening. What else? Uh, I think we need two dust, dust Devils, right? I forget how to do this team. Is this how you do it? I know you gotta cast twice. Where is it? Dust Devil. Alright. No, I don't think... Is this it? Tide Caller. I don't think I still don't think the banner matters. We could change it though, just be care, just to make sure. All right, let's see what happens. Yeah, some classes it's like once you get them to seventy, there's no reason to go any higher really. Just 
It's kind of like uh, getting certain weapons. You just get them to collect them. Once you get certain classes to 70, you're kind of just collecting level 100 classes at some point. Alright, so this would be how you farm class experience. Doesn't really matter the order, I don't think. Bang, boom, bang. So yeah, it's slightly faster than Rowan, I would say. Because sometimes your Leprechaun won't do what it's supposed to do, or your Rowan won't kill all the way, or... The enemy does something weird, they get a crazy extra turn, and blah blah blah. I guess that's true with this team, though, too. Like, the enemy does get a turn, so that, that could happen with this team, too, so... I don't know. We would have to time it over a certain amount of time. Like, how many battles? I could do that after the fact, I guess. To let you guys know, like, rewatch my video and see why'd I do that. Which one was faster? Would you rate Titan as number one? Yes. I would say so. What up, Chris? What up, Mike D? I would say Titan is number one. The best class in the game. After that, it's really difficult because there's so many that are useful. Man, I just want to take these extra turns. I don't know why. Stop it. I'm just getting class experience. Come on. I think doing the top... That's why I haven't done the top five best classes in the game. Because it's a super hard uh, video to make. It's really one I really want to make, though. Stop taking extra turns. I guess so they don't get them anyway. Because they're going to grab them if I don't grab them. Alright, I really gotta fix that before the next live stream. I promise. I'll look into it before the next live stream at least. Well, Titan's just a better Sentinel though. We can compare them if you want. I decided not to upgrade Dawnbringer past 5 because explosions. Thoughts? Yeah, some people don't like some of those weapon talents. There's, uh, on the Gems of War forum, that's like the main thing they like to argue about. When there's nothing else to argue about or to complain about, they like to complain about, uh, weapon talents that are, uh, detrimental to the weapon. <laughs> you know, like they spawn a certain color gem, or they explode a weird color gem, or they... I don't know. Like, you're looking for a certain alignment, and it makes a weird color that just doesn't go along with that. There's certain weapons out there where it's better if you don't upgrade the, upgrade them fully. Same with, like, Bandit. You don't want to upgrade Bandit all the way. You don't want Bandit to be stealthy. It's weird that you can nerf something and make it better or whatever. But yeah, there's some weapons out there that, like, create a gem or do something like that. And it's detrimental to, like... the keeping a loop going or whatnot so some people just leave certain weapons at plus four plus five or whatever they don't upgrade them past a certain point but i don't know i mean i upgraded mine all the way just because it was a habit But yeah, I need to rank, I need to do that video, the top five classes. It's just hard to decide. You got Thief, you got Sun Spear, you got Frost Mage, you got Monk, you got Sentinel. Like, that's already more than five. So, I don't even know. Maybe we'll look at them and you guys can tell me what you think. I just need to do the Vault. If it wasn't this freaking Vault event, we could look at other stuff. I feel like I'm not doing the right thing if I'm not doing the Vault right now, though. I'm not some somehow farming vault keys. I feel like I'm doing the wrong thing, so. Only upgrades I avoid are the ones with hex. Yeah, that's weird too when you like transform something and it's... You almost have it dead. And then it transforms it to something else and gives it more health. 
Like, that's annoying. It's not as that bad, but it's annoying when it happens the wrong, wrong kind of way. Kind of like the gym, when they make the wrong gym. Kimmy says, do you use OBS with streaming, DRock? That's what I use when I stream uh, EverQuest and when I do my PC videos. But yeah, he's probably the better one to ask for advice because he actually has a face cam and stuff. I would rather not break that seal. You guys can see my beautiful face in my picture on my avatar, and that's enough for me. There's very successful people out there that don't do face cam, but most of... <laughs> if I was to give someone advice, I would say do it. Do a face cam, though. It lets people see your emotions, and they get to see the person. That you're a, a real person, and look at your face. I don't know, there's some reasons. Capture card. Streamlabs OBS. Hey, what up, Paul Miller? Paul Miller in the house. Paul Miller in the house. What up, Paul? You guys know we broke all kinds of records last week on Saturday on that six-hour live stream? That was crazy. Doing our 800th video right now. Remember to subscribe so you can get that reward, that extra live stream after dark. Gems of War after dark. Remember to subscribe. Let's get to 4K by April 2nd. That's the goal. If we don't get there in time, we're not doing the extra live stream. Let's get that 4K, baby. We only have 100. Around 100 to go. Let's get it. It's not, I'm not asking for a thousand. It's a hundred. And it's something that would happen either way. It's not like some amazing miracle that I'm asking for. I'm asking for something a week or two sooner than it would normally happen. Please. Yeah, I need to learn how to do all that stuff, Kimmy. I'm... St I'm <laughs> Ding dong, boy. Doing PS4 streaming here. It's cool though, I did see that uh, people are on PS4, they can still watch me on YouTube, so I don't need to say that anymore. I've never really watched anybody on PS4, so... I've never like gone in PS4 and like tried to find somebody to watch. I always just go to YouTube or Twitch. So I don't really get it, why people do that, but... Yeah, thanks, John. I just noticed the other day that this was my 800th video. Paul said, I gave up on saving for a mythic and got Rage Reaver, and I'm loving it. I also got Yao Gui, but haven't used him yet because I'm enjoying Rage. Yeah, Rage Reaver's awesome. It's underrated. It makes tons of red. I used to... some. I think it was even D-Rock. Like, I was... When I first started using the um, Ferocity team, I was... Trying to tell everybody to use Flamifer. And uh, I think it was either D-Rock or somebody like that that said Rage Reaver was better than Flamifer. And I resisted for like a, week, uh, a couple days. And then I realized that he was right. I'm like, yeah, this is way better. Flamifer only makes like 6 or 7, but Rage Reaver makes like 12 or 13 or more. Like crazy amount. 10 or whatever. 10 plus. Ding dong for me, too. I am learning and getting help from a Twitch buddy. There you go. Yeah, that's what... That's life. Find somebody that's doing the thing you want to do and, like, ask questions. Especially if they're an expert and they're doing it really well. If you want to learn how to drive a boat, go find a dude that already knows how to drive a boat and ask him how to drive a damn boat. I don't know why I said drive a boat, but hey, we're the tide caller right now. Maybe that's why. It takes quite a bit to learn OBS. YouTube is your friend. Yeah, that's what I'm doing. Trevor says, well done, Cine 800 video. What an achievement. Next goal, 1,000, and it's going to happen this year. Yeah, baby. 
Rage Reaver is great. Yao is a force. Yeah, both of those are good. This week is good for uh, the Soul Forge. TPK is in there too. See, look at that. This thing, I must have had this thing a bunch of times. Hydra. Um, yeah, I can't wait to a thousand. I just happened to look and it said 800 and I was like, ooh, something I could say. That's a lot of videos too. Yeah, 200. We need 200 more. So when's that going to happen? 200 days from now. Maybe sooner because EverQuest. I do 40 videos a month is what I'm going for right now. So in five months, we'll have a thousand videos five months from now. Whatever, whenever that is. So April, May, June, July, August, right on my birthday, right on my birthday, we're going to have a, a thousand videos. That's pretty cool. A thousand video birthday celebration. We could probably do that. I'll try to line it up so it's right on my birthday. We'll hit our thousandth video on my birthday. That'd be funny. At least I'll remember when it happened. Right? March, April, May, June, July, August. Five months, 40 videos a month. It'll be pretty close. Yeah, buddy, Leo. August babies. Yeah, that'd be a good way. Get a thousandth video. That's an achievement. Some people get so lucky. They have like... 10 videos and they like a thousand like a 10,000 subscribers it takes me 800 videos to get the freaking it probably take me a thousand videos to get to 4,000 subscribers <laughs> hey you want to start a YouTube channel you can get 4,000 subscribers all you have to do is make 800 videos that's it you want to start a YouTube channel? You want to get 4,000 subscribers? All you got to do is make 800 videos. That's it. For over years and years and years. It's that simple. You just play video games. Super duper easy. Just ask D-Rock and Kimmy. It's so easy. <laughs> Rant number one. Don't call it out. You got you got you're gonna scare it away. You scare it away, John. It's like a deer. Trying to feed the deer, you gotta like walk slowly up to it. Let it stand there for a minute. You're gonna scare away the rant. Calling it out too soon. <laughs> I'm skittish. I'm gonna run away. I'm not gonna do it. You're scaring it away. Rant number one. Yeah, I need to quit doing that. I need to stop with the uh, views and the... I need to stop with, like, the YouTube analytic rants. That's not... That don't help anything. That just drives people away. This many views and blah, 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 and subscribers, and look at all the work I do, and blah, 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 and I don't get... I don't get rewarded for all the effort I put in, and blah, blah, blah. I need to quit with all that baby... Baby time bullshit. It doesn't help. Nobody's gonna, nobody's gonna hear me saying that and be like, "Oh yeah, I forgot to hit like," or "Oops, I forgot to subscribe." I better reward this crybaby, bitch boy. Educational purposes. But it also makes me want to say. Please like, share, subscribe, consider joining. It helps a lot. And I'll see y'all next time. Just kidding. Just kidding. But sometimes I get that feeling in my gut like... Oh, an hour's enough. No, just kidding. Shut up, city! Alright, we're farming class experience, baby. Tide caller. Getting vault keys. Doing the best event in the game. Which is the vault. Yeah, we gotta do that EP. EP. 
It does help, though. I've, I haven't had a yellow dollar sign ever since I started saying it. So that's just a tip for you guys. A tip for Kimmy and D-Rock. If you accidentally say, like, a bad word, just say educational purposes, and it works. Sniffy has... <laughs> Sniffy. I called myself Sniffy. <laughs> Sniffy has a bin... The, what? Sinny has a been sniffing the coffee he needs start drinking decaf the rants are turning his voice into kermit the frogs right <laughs> elite gaming is also farming class experience d-rock i'm a sailor <laughs> well you'll be saying ep a lot then huh all right we are see what's happening here this was happening, like, a lot before I put out the Wednesday video. So this is why I think I said that. Twitch doesn't care? Oh, you're lucky then. I'll get the yellow dollar sign if I cuss too much. Why'd I do that? I already had Dust Devil. You're lucky then. You don't have to watch your mouth. I definitely have a way worse mouth in real life. Not, like, terrible, but... I don't watch it. I do, like, you know, when you're around little kids, of course. I'm not a monster. But if I was talking to people that are my same age, I would probably let a couple fly. I'm talking to adults. And they're not like, we're not in church or something. <laughs> of course. Not that I go, but... Cine of the Choir. You lucky then, D-Rock. I was watching one of your videos the other day, man. You was, uh... it's It was an older one, so you'll be like, Dude, this guy talking about a video from two weeks ago. But you were like, um... I don't know, you're like eating a chicken sandwich and drinking some uh, drinks or something. You're drinking like malt... A malt beverage or something. Just to prove... I, I actually watch your stuff. Don't think I don't. Every once in a while, I'll check out a VOD, bro. You're you're eating like a chicken sandwich and drinking some malt malt something. I don't know if it was like root beer or malt liquor or something. I I couldn't tell. I I, I watched you know like 15 minutes of it. Just checking you out every once in a while, making sure you're not doing something crazy over there. Keeping my eye on you. Same with Kimmy. I'll, I'll watch a Kimmy video every once in a while too. <sighs> I can't say I watch you guys every single day. I'm just super busy, but with my own stuff. But I definitely check you guys out every once in a while, that's for sure. And I, every time I can, I'll tell other people to go check you out. Like Artless X Arts on Twitch, go check it out right now. Kimmy500 on YouTube. Who else does that stuff? You hear Mr. T, like, shouting out other channels ever? Or that other guy? Does he do that? Does the developers? Do they do it? LMAO. What up, Trey? How's it going, man? Trey's also crushing it on EverQuest. He's like level 30... 39 or something? I don't know. What level are you? He's getting up there. On a cleric. D-Rock does gyms Tuesdays and Sundays. Go check them out on Twitch on Tuesday and Sunday. Kimmy says D-Rock is always eating <laughs> during stream. Uh, 34, okay, okay. 4 looks like a 9. I think I asked you what level you were, then you told me, and then I still got it wrong. Sounds like me. No problem, Kimmy. I'm pretty honest. I, I, I don't watch you guys. I don't watch you guys' every single video, but I like to... I like to keep tabs and check in on you, like, once every couple weeks. Unless you say you're doing something like a live stream, then I would love to check it out.
Did you AFK your DE and pass out last night? No, I just like to leave them on. To advertise my channel. Because my name is Cinecool on YouTube. So I like to park myself in East Commons and then I'll put an AFK on. Like, uh, go watch my channel. I like to stay on all the time. Faceless One says I'm camping uh, playtime. But I'm really advertising my channel. My name is Cinecool on YouTube. So hopefully people just see my name and they go check me out. Uh, D-Rock's doing Final Fantasy 15 today. My last Destiny 2 stream was hilarious. I ought to check it out then. T only talks about fast food. <laughs> fast food and the developers. He never... I, at least I haven't heard him lately. Shout out any other smaller channels. I feel like that's like... We should do that. Especially if there's people that come to your videos like every single time. Like, why not? If it's just some random guy that pops up, I'm not going to do it. You have to hang out and be... A person that I trust. Uh, if some random guy comes in and says, Hey, I got a channel. Can you shout me out? I probably would not do it. But, you know, Kimmy's been around for months and months and months and months and months. D-Rock's been around for like years. So, Kimmy's probably been around for like a year now. And D-Rock's probably been around for two years. So definitely they deserve it. But if some new guy just pops in, they gotta earn earn it. Trey says, bro was so tired last night in high keep basement, I stood up to throw a heel and hit gate. <laughs> I've done that before. <laughs> I did that to faceless one pretty much. I pan I like panic panic gate gated. I didn't even mean Yeah, I promise I'm going to fix that. I don't know if you guys can tell when it happens. I try to make it more seamless, but yeah. Stupid headset. I'm definitely... I definitely am not as disappointed as when I first got it. Like, it's growing on me, and I like it. I now like it. But it still has these little things that annoy me, like the 20-minute thing. I got to figure out. I was ready to return it like the first day. Then it worked on my on my laptop. I'm like, ooh, I might give this another chance. It sounds it actually sounds good on my laptop. And then I started work, you know, figuring it out, getting used to it. Now I'm like fine with it, but I still have to tweak it a little bit. I need to figure out that stupid 20 minute crap. Cindy knows all about gating out unintentionally. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> definitely. Or feign deathing. I'm never, obviously never doing it to try to get anyone killed. It's more like, oh my god, I'm scared. <laughs> <laughs> you threw, a, you stood up to throw a hill and threw a gate. That's funny. Uh, We all got a real life too, says Kimmy. Ben Templer and myself keep promoting your channel in our guild. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. You guys don't have to be... You don't have to be weird and make a bunch of different accounts. I mean, I'll appreciate it. That's for sure. But, um... Just telling your your other... Your guild. If you want to do it the right way, you can just tell your guild about the channel. And get a couple people to subscribe. If you want to help towards the 4,000. If you, if you can't do that, though, there's other ways. Like, I could probably make myself a subscriber right now if I wanted to. I could probably go... I could probably go on my laptop, open a different browser, and make myself a new account, and then subscribe to myself, and it would go up by one. But, I don't know. I don't want to do that. I'll leave that to you guys. I could get on my phone, click the this part where it tells you where you log in and stuff, and create new account. Name it something stupid and just subscribe to myself. That's what people do when they start out. They subscribe to themselves a bunch. To you gotta fake it till you make it. It just is what it is. You gotta do that. 
in the very, very beginning, when you have like less than 100. You gotta fake it till you make it. You gotta watch the crap out of your own videos. You gotta subscribe to yourself. You gotta trade people for, you know, sub for sub. Because nobody comes to a channel and says, Man, this guy's only got five subscribers. I gotta watch this. It's more like the other way around. Oh, he's got 500. That must mean it's okay, because 500 other people subscribed. People are followers. People are followers. You gotta, you gotta capitalize on that. No, no, you know? It's sad. And it's not the right way. But it's true in the very, 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 very beginning. In the very beginning. You don't want to keep doing it forever because it's fake. You don't want to be fake. But it doesn't hurt at the very, very, very beginning to fake it till you make it. Uh, And I appreciate it, John and Ben and Black Bayou and everybody that's telling their guilt about the channel. I did notice it going up a little bit, by the way, John. It went up a little bit, like, right after you told me that. Or right before. Like, right before and right after. So, I definitely noticed. What up, Dr. Mop Sister 2? Says, hi, Cinny Boo Boo. You made me nearly choke on my bacon laughing at your rant. <laughs> Which one? I've probably had, like, three. Scott, Scout Tank. What up? Hi, Cinny Cool. How many vault keys did you find? Uh, let's see. I forget already. I think ten. 10 or 11. Which is decent. I think I got 16 last time, so I'm really cruising here. For me, for me. I get like an average amount. I'm not like a crazy 30, 40 key person. Not that good. But for me, like 15 to 20 is where I try to fit in, get in where I fit in. Yeah, we got 11 right now, like Jimmy said. I started with 6, I now have 17. I'm farming class experience right now, or else it would be going a little bit faster. Showing the the class experience team. DRock says, 99% of my guild are the Germans. Yeah, I think my guild is some sort of other country too, man. I'm not 100% sure, because I don't really ask. But, I think they're all from, like, Canada or something. Not, like, super duper, not, like, German, but, I don't know. They're somewhere, somewhere, some of them, not all of them feel like some of them are like from deep in Canada somewhere. Uh, you don't want to cheat it at... Will feel so much better if you do it legit. Yeah, that's true. You definitely start... Like right now... Well, you know. If you're talking about right now, I really don't care. I just want to get there. So, <laughs> it's going to happen either way, you know? I just want to... I'm trying to make it happen a little bit faster. So, it's not that big of a deal. Yeah. I don't care. It's 4,000. It's not 5,000, but it's still amazing. So, yeah, I don't really care how we get there. Once we hit it, we get it, and then I don't have to think about it anymore. Faceless One does all the work, and he just sits on his backside and watches. <laughs> all right. You caught that reference, didn't you, Faceless One? So if I started streaming on Twitch someday, you would not give me a shout, Crow Op Gaming. I would. If you came, like, right now and asked for one. I've seen you, I've seen Crow Op Gaming, I've seen you for, uh, quite a few weeks now, so I might... It depends. I'm just saying if some brand new person came in and asked for a shout out, I probably wouldn't do it. You're not a brand new person. I've seen your name before. I might not like promote you every single week until I see you every single week, but yeah. There's different levels of it. I pretty much scream out D Rock and Kimmy on every live stream. Because they've been here for years. But if some person that's been here for weeks or months Wants a little shout out? I'd probably do it. Maybe not every single time I see him, but like I know your name. I definitely know. I've seen Crow Up Gaming quite a few times, so you're not a brand new person. You know what I mean? Eleven. When you get 
124, we can plan getting you to 10k. Yeah, I can't wait, man. Watching frog luck groins. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> They're crotches. <laughs> That's how it felt, but then when I watched it back, it wasn't as bad as I thought. It's how it felt in the moment that I was watching Frog Look Crotches. But when I watched the video back, it wasn't as bad. It was there, but it wasn't as bad. I think because I was cognizant of it like halfway through, so I started aiming the camera up a little bit here and there. I was scared that it was just going to be like Frog crotches the entire time and the floor and their feet so you don't really know until you you can see what you're like playing the game and you don't see exactly what you're recording unless you have it in the background kind of so i could check it every once in a while but i don't see it the entire time so i have to just make sure i'm doing it right the the whole time i don't know it cuts off the top one and a half inch and the bottom one and a half inch so i have to think of that while i'm recording but recently i kind of angled it up a little bit more like a half an inch so now it's like an inch at the top and two inches at the bottom and i think that's a little bit better like i don't have to think about it as much but taking extra turns dummy okay cool i haven't streamed since before that word and it was Mordheim and may again so yeah crow up if you keep coming to everything then i'll definitely shout you out all right man sunspear up to level 70 that's one you want to actually get to 100 maybe i should do that video one day like classes you actually want to get to 100 like titan is okay sunspear slayer maybe even monk i don't know there's some, though. There's at least three. Thief, maybe? One that has assassinate? A s like, uh, archer? Like, there's a, there's some that you actually want to get to 100. You just take a look at the level 100 talent or whatever. And, and see if it's good or not. And if it's not, if it's nothing, if it's just like, um... Five extra health for merfolk, or... Something, something for... Whatever. Giants. Hey, what up, DC United? Did you guys know that DC United watched every one of my 800 videos? I need to shout him out for that. Shout out to DC United. Thank you so much. He watched every single video. That's an amazing way to help the channel. That gets that watch time and views all at the same time. He just hit on, you know... If you go to my uploads and then you hit play all, that's how he did it. And he made it through every single video. Isn't that crazy? 800 freaking videos. It's probably like who knows how many minutes and hours and whatnot. It took him weeks and weeks. That's how much crap I got online. Take somebody probably literally months to watch it all. He ran it on like a laptop at work or something, so it was always on. You don't have to sit there and look at it with your eyeballs, you know? You can help me out without even doing anything. You just click on Cine Cool Channel, Uploads, Play All, and hit Play All while you're sleeping. You're not even watching it. You don't have to do anything. You just have to click a couple buttons, and it helps. Three weeks of entertainment. Nice. I always wondered how long it would take to watch all my videos. Three weeks of 24 hours a day. <laughs> it's cool, though, to have a channel and, like, have stuff... Like, this will probably be here forever, at least, you know, for the foreseeable future. Years and years and years and years and years. And I got 800 videos of that. Of me talking... Ranting and everything. There's probably 800 rants. There's probably at least 400 rants. <laughs> at least. I let it go two different nights. Never got through it. Right? Sometimes it makes you pause and stuff. Like, I get it. 
It's a hard thing to do. You have to babysit it sometimes, so it's not worth it when... It's not worth it if you gotta babysit it. If you can kind of get it running smooth, though, that's the, that'd be awesome. That watch time. But yeah, if you gotta babysit it and crap, then obviously don't do it. I don't want anybody, like, giving out extra effort. Jimmy says, I always have Cinny in the background for the 18 hours I play a day. Nice, bro. The older, new faction Cinny vids are the best. Ah, <laughs> yeah. Probably, uh, some voices and stuff. <laughs> On every new faction video, not every, there were a couple where I didn't do it. But on almost every new faction video, I do a voice for the quest. At least one voice. Almost every one. So if there's like 15 of them, then at least 10 of them I'm doing voices. Because one week it was like I did it and then somebody like didn't like it. So I didn't do it the next time. And then people were like, why didn't you do it? So then I did it the next time. I don't know, I let a troll get to me so I didn't do it like a couple times. So I wasn't doing it at first. Then I started doing it. And then a troll said something, so I didn't do it. And then I was like, screw that guy. And I started doing it again. They do the, are you still watching crap now? I know, bro. Exactly. They ask if you, uh, they pause your video and say, are you still watching? It's annoying. Offended troll is offended. Yep. They're always offended, right? But yeah, nobody has a game they want me to play. It's so hard to pull a game from you guys. You guys only play Gems of War? That or I get like one, one from one person and then I don't know. Like that one person could maybe be the only person that ever plays. That, <laughs> yeah, they'll be the only one that watches. It's hard to find like another game that you guys want to see. What can I do? That's like my main goal in life for this channel is to find another game that all of you will watch. I know it's probably impossible, but my main goal with this channel is to find another game that all of you will watch. That's why I'm going to do the freaking new account playthrough because I think that's the only thing. The only thing all of you will watch that's not this. And it still is this. That's why, like, maybe Puzzle Quest. That's why I keep mentioning Puzzle Quest. I'm waiting for you guys to be like, yeah! Yeah, Puzzle Quest! Let's do it, guy! That's pretty similar to this game and made by the same people. We will all watch that. Even if half of you watched something, that would be cool. Even if half of you... If I could find a game where half of you watched it, that would be fine. So if I normally get like 500, I would get like 250. I would take that. Puzzle Quest, Ronaldo says. Persona 4, someone said. Paul Miller. Sekiro. Multiple people have said Sekiro, so maybe that, but I still feel like it's going to be that 50 view video. Mordheim. I don't even know what Mordheim is. What is that? Sounds cool. Mordheim. Valheim. Create a poll. Last time I did a poll, it didn't go so well, though. Sekiro, Persona 4, Down with the Trolls, says Elite Gaming. 11 Vault Keys, 1 Epic, says John. Nice, you're a 1 Epic ahead of me. Where's my Epic Vault Key? Come on. I haven't got one since the freaking thing came out. Puzzle Quest, says Ronaldo. Marvel Puzzle Quest, says Crow Up. I still have never played Puzzle Quest. It's super similar to this, uh, except for instead of... I really don't... I've never played it either, so... I'm going to say that first of all. I've never played Puzzle Quest. But I think it's Gems of War, except for you have a hero only, and you have like four spells. 
So instead of like four different, instead of having like your hero and three characters, three troops, I think you have like your hero and that's it, and you have like four spells, and you like fill up your spells instead of your troops. Marvel Puzzle Quest, yeah. You're on Xbox, Mike D. Halo. Minesweeper. There you go, Strodium. Think of something that everybody played at one point and would watch for nostalgia purposes. That's why I was thinking Oregon Trail. Everybody used to play that back in the day, right? It was like the first game everybody played ever. That's like a joke. But still something I might do. See what I mean? I think it was Hydra. Hydra. I meant Hydra when I said Wild Plains. Let's cast this for fun. Well, I suck at last. I Maybe Doom? Doom? Duke Nukem? Oregon Trail? Uh, what else? Like, I tried Final Fantasy VII. Like, I thought that was something everybody played. And that was, like, mildly successful. It wasn't what I was really looking for, but it was okay. That was the pole game. But, yeah, I think Sekiro is probably the best bet. Sekiro or Puzzle Quest or a new account playthrough, I think, are my only options. GoldenEye, Doom, Jet Set, Willy. <laughs> yeah, Sekiro is the... The bad thing with Sekiro is I gotta buy it. So I, that's why I kind of said free games. Sekiro is definitely always gonna be one that I'm gonna play one day. Because I love Dark Souls. And this channel was supposed to be like a Dark Souls channel when I started it. And it ended up being a Gems of War channel. So I always have From Software in my heart. Dark Souls. Bloodborne. Sekiro. So that So that'll definitely happen. I just got to buy it. <sighs> yeah, Puzzle Quest 3 when that comes out. When does that come out? I need to know this. I'm going to look it up right now. Puzzle Quest 3, that's the answer. That's why I want to play 1 and 2 though. That's what so I know what I'm doing. When does Puzzle Quest 3 come out? I think that's the freaking answer. Like, if Gems of War 2 came out, that would be obvious, right? So I think Puzzle Quest 3 is, like, the second best thing to Gems of War 2. Puzzle Quest 3, let's see. When does that come out? Sorry, guys. I'm trying to figure this out now. Kimmy says only maybe Puzzle Quest. See, that's what I need. I need honesty. Don't say, yay, EverQuest. I'll, I'll watch that, and then you don't watch it. Or, yay, Final Fantasy VII Remake. I'll watch that, and then you don't watch it. Don't say, yay. Don't say yippity doo -dah if you're not going to do it. Uh, Puzzle Quest 3 announced as a free-to-play sequel. Uh, when are they going to... By the end of the year. So I got the whole year to try to play, like, Puzzle Quest 1 and 2. They say by the end of the year, so... That couldn't... That might not even be this year. But see, if I play Puzzle Quest 1 and it doesn't get very good views, it's going to discourage me from playing 3, probably. I think it will, though, honestly. like, I know I'm talking about this crap again. I'm just trying to hive mind this crap. Figure it out with my people that I trust. So, And people that watch after the fact don't watch it this far in. So might as well hive mind and try to get something done here and make everything better by figuring stuff out. I 
I just don't really... No one out there is going to give me advice on uh, my channel in real life. So I got to get, get it from you guys. <laughs> People would probably hope I fail in real life, honestly. That's more of the vibe I get in real life. People either hoping I fail or not caring. So that's why I talk to you guys and try to figure stuff out. I know it's probably annoying that I'm talking about dumb crap like views and games to play. Yeah, like when a new game comes out, usually that's the best time, best thing to do. I gave 40 on the 6 hour... What are you talking about? I know you... Oh, let's see... Uh-oh. Tim said tip for half Securio, I will match. Uh -huh. Yeah, I'm still paying off this mic, or otherwise I would just get Securo. This headset was $150. So I'm still, like, reeling from that, or I would just get Securo, you know? Definitely you guys helped a lot in that six-hour live stream. That was amazing. That was amazing. That was like half. I paid for half the headset. That was awesome. Freaking awesome. And people went up to tier 3 and stuff. And helped to get to the 40 members. That was awesome too. That whole situation was just amazing. The 6 hour live stream. The, uh, that's why I'm kind of trying it again, you know? Kind of. With the Gems of War after dark. If we can get to 4,000 subscribers. I'm trying to replicate that 6-hour live stream magic. You guys were amazing. But yeah, the headset was uh, $150. So you guys paid like for half of that. And that really, really helps a lot. And I appreciate it. Puzzle Quest 3 will have a beta and a soft release sometime this year. DC says, I think you're on the right check with free-to-play vibes. Any cool? The free-to-play king. The, that way your viewers can get in on the fun too. Yeah. What up, Reynaldo? What up? Shane. Yeah, that was, the, that was uh, really good, that six hour. I was so happy after the fact. I was like buzzing. I was like, uh, I don't know. Awesome, Reynaldo. Appreciate it, man. He says, you're in my ear every Saturday morning now. Yeah, we've been doing this for so long. I need to check it out. Somebody, one of you hive minders there, figure out how many Saturdays we've done this in a row. And, like, let me know a week from now or something. I, I, if, I, if I think about it off stream, I'll try to figure it out. But I'm also curious how many days I've done videos in a row. Like, I was keeping track, and then I lost track. I'm curious how many Saturdays in a row we've done this live stream. And I'm curious how many days in a row I've done a video. Because it's something like a year and a half now. It's way over a year. I lost track at like six months. But I've done a video every single day for like two years now. Or no, it's been at least a year. At least a year. It's been well over a year. Because I remember giving that little speech that everybody hated at the beginning of the C word. I'm like, if you want to do something, do it now. Because you you're not promised tomorrow, blah, blah, blah. That My little Vince Lombardi speech that I did. That I got a bunch of dislikes. People, Me telling people how to live their life, I guess. And they were disliking me. But that's when I started like 100% doing a video every single day. So it must be... It's at least a year. Because I started that like right at the beginning of the thingy. You think around 40 Saturdays? After 4K subs and after dark... No, only if we make it. Only if we make it by April 2nd. And I didn't say six hours, but it could be. It could be seven. It could be eight. It could be nine. That's the 
I don't want to promise any certain amount of time if it's after dark because I might get cranky and but at least an hour long but only if we get it get to 4k by April 2nd if we don't get to 4k if we're at 3999 at on April 3rd then I'm not doing the after dark live stream I'm just gonna keep doing what I'm doing don't you tell me how to live my life bro <laughs> don't give me good advice don't tell me. Don't tell me to eat my vitamins and do my push-ups. Don't tell me to chew my vitamins up and grind them and sniff them. Alright, I don't know how much longer we're going to go today. I was actually hurting after that six hours. I think I'm just now recovering. I don't want to ruin it. My throat and my voice box were killing me. I forget what day it was. It was like Wednesday. Obviously it hurt right after. And then it was hurting it was a little bit on Sunday. But it was like Wednesday or so. It started like really getting to me. So I did those eight minute videos on Thursday and Friday and it kinda helped out that I only did little eight minute videos. Yeah, it was Wednesday because I did an hour-long uh, EverQuest and a 30-minute um, Gems of War. So on Wednesday, I did an hour and a half after doing six hours Saturday, like 30 minutes Sunday, like 30 minutes Monday. I did a little break on Tuesday, and then Wednesday, I did another hour and a half. So I was, like, pushing it to the limit there with my voice. And I'm just now starting to get back feeling better not like it's not that bad or anything it's just like I, I i can feel when it's getting stressed and tired and i don't like to feel that feeling so i, I literally hurt myself for this channel <laughs> you don't think it would but some people don't talk the entire time when they do a live stream like i do so that, I guess that's what kills me, is that I'm a motor mouth whenever I have a live stream and I make my videos way too long instead of making like a, doing some editing. Well, even if you edit, you still use your voice and like cut it, then you're like wasting, you're still using your voice, you're just cutting it out. Imagine if you sang for six hours, that'd be crazy. Play badminton every day, baby. Get better, you would get better. If you played badminton every day, you'd be the badminton champion of the world. But we can't give good advice here. We'll get we'll get disliked. Don't tell people to practice something every day and you'll get better. Because then you'll have like five dislikes for some reason. You're not allowed to give good advice. If you do your live stream with camera, you could do sign language to save the voice. Yeah. I just don't want to pop that seal. I don't even have a camera. Yeah, I do. I think I have one on my laptop. Puzzle Quest 3 coming third quarter according to 505 Financial Report. Yeah, don't forget to take some cynical time for recovery. You gotta take care of yourself. We appreciate you. Thanks, uh, DC. Appreciate you. Yeah, that's why I did the short videos on Thursday and Friday. I'm like, I gotta give myself a little bit but yeah, let's just get to the two-hour mark, and then maybe I'll say goodbye and stuff. If you want to say anything, say it now. So for me, the thing I want to say is, please subscribe. I really want to get to 4K by April 2nd. And if I do, I'll do the extra live stream. This extra live stream could possibly be longer than six hours. It could, but I'm not going to promise anything. The promise is an hour at least. Because I could get cranky. It's late. I'm not good at staying up late. So no promises. But if you want a chance at. If you want a chance at. Then do whatever you can to get to 4K by April 2nd. Because I could still be streaming the next day. Even if you're in a different country. If I start at midnight. And I go for 7 hours. I might still be streaming when you when you when you wake up or whatever. 
when you're able to watch in a different country. I'm not promising that. I might go from midnight till 1 a.m., 1 a but just saying it's possible. If you want, if you want the chance at it, do what you can. Tell your guild, tell your dog, tell your grandma, tell your neighbor, tell your doctor, tell your dentist. I don't care. Tell a hooker, tell a policeman, tell the mailman. Do whoever, whoever can, whoever has a phone, whoever has a computer, whoever has a YouTube account, it's not that hard to make one. You impact my day positively, <laughs> my little sinny boo-boo. You, you make my day positive too, thank you. All these, um, compliments make me happy. I don't need a bunch of yes men, but it it is nice to have a couple. <laughs> it is nice to get your little ego stroked and and people say nice things. That's still nice, even though you d you definitely don't need all of that. But it's nice to have one or two or three or four. Then you can feel good, like oh, they really like me. Oh. Thanks, John. Appreciate you. C uh, U7, aka Tim, is going to tell his OnlyFans. So, we will gain nothing from that. We'll, we'll gain zero subscribers. Thank you, Tim. Actually, if y'all didn't know, he makes like $100,000 a month on OnlyFans. He's a gigolo. He's, he's a Chippendale dancer. Gigolo. Tim is a Chippendale dancing gigolo, and he has a hundred thousand people watching him on OnlyFans. And uh, that's what I, you know, we have a rich benefactor here that's gonna do something crazy here soon. His name is U7. He's a Chippendale dancer on OnlyFans. A beefcake, if you will. Yeah, he's a beefcake. His name is Tim. He's definitely a guy. <laughs> I better get off here before he comes back at me. I'm gonna bail. I'm gonna eject before Tim says anything. <laughs> ah, I'm out of here. I'm out of here. Tim Bigelow. <laughs> Yeah, I'm ending my stream to go watch Tim's OnlyFans. <laughs> For sure. Yeah, buddy. Is this beefcake also a barber? Oh, yeah. Brutus. His name's Brutus, the booty man. Brutus, the booty man. If anybody watches wrestling... Er... If anybody used to watch, like, WWF or WWE or whatever you want to call it, WCW, you need to check out uh, a YouTube channel called Wrestling Bios. I watch a lot of YouTube, and uh, I used to watch wrestling back in the day, like, when I was young, like, a kid. I don't anymore because it's terrible now, and I haven't for, like, ten years plus. But when I was a, a child, I watched pro wrestling, right? So there's this really good YouTube channel called Wrestling Bios. You should check it out if you like, uh, if you used to watch. Because he goes over, like, old crap. It's not the new crap. He's going over, like, the Monday Night Wars and, like, ECW and all that good stuff. The Attitude Era. And right now he's going over the Monday Night Wars and he's, like, rehashing the whole freaking war. It's really awesome. So, the booty man's there and everybody. The NWO. The NWO and the booty man. Because I know there's at least one of you out of 39 that used to watch wrestling back in the day. And now I just changed your life by letting you know about wrestling bios. Who else? Uh, wrestling with the Regret. That's a good channel. 
Dead Meat Podcast. If anybody likes horror, I know at least one of you out there likes horror. Dead Meat Podcast or Dead Meat is a good YouTube channel. So if you're not watching Cine Cool and running those playlists and making fake accounts and subscribing, then uh, you should be watching Dead Meat Wrestling Bios. What else do I watch? Faceless One recommended one to me called uh, Police Activity. That one's really good. It's kind of like cops, but it's like the shootouts and stuff. It's pretty cool. So there's another one for you. Also, you guys, have you ever heard of Summoning Salt? If you like speedruns, he goes over... Uh, just giving you all my favorite YouTube channels right now for some reason. He, he rehashes speedruns and, like, the history of speedruns and, like, I don't know. It's amazing. So, Summoning Salt. Wrestling Bios. Dead Meat. I said one other one. I can't remember. Those are all good YouTube channels. Naked Yoga. Oh, yeah. Jim Cornette. Definitely. <laughs> Gavin just got his first epic Valky. Yeah, baby. Nice work. I only have one. I've only ever got one, so that's amazing. See what I mean about Wild Plains, guys? It's like, I'm going to take back my take back. Yeah, congrats, Gavin. Have you hit like yet, everybody? Tim Bigelow. <laughs> uh... The wife has just said, what does he mean he is finishing the stream? He can't. I would mean I would mean I would have to talk to you. <laughs> That's funny, John. Does he know Vinny from Jersey? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Vinny and Paul or uh Vinny and uh who does that off that show? It's Vinny and somebody. Dang it, what'd I just do? I just tore down the house. I think it's Polly D, right? Is it Vinny and Polly D? And then like Mike was used to be one too? So we got Vinny, we got Polly, DJ Polly D, Vinny, we got the Situation Mike, and then we got uh, Tim Bigelow. Tim Bigelow, so there's four of them up there with their shirts off, flexing their abs. Tim's got like an eight pack. <laughs> uh, Trey thinks we're leaving. Uh... Cynical cool dropping another gem of WWF WWE I used to watch religiously. Yeah, me too. I was like a ECW. I was a I'm always like the underground weirdo guy that's watching the thing no one else. But hey, that's some that was good stuff. They took off Kane's mask. Horror is amazing, says Jimmy. There you go. Yay, C Roggin. I knew some of my people were out there. That's why I like Dark Souls. I like RPGs and horror. And it's kind of and I like difficulty. So it's like this this awesome, awesome soup of awesomeness for me. It's horror. Not really, but it kind of, you know what I mean? It's a little hint. It's an RPG. It's difficult with the hint, a minor, little tiny hint of horror. Anything by Jim Ross. I like Jim Cornette, like somebody said earlier. I don't know about Jim Ross, but I like Jim Cornette. Have you hit your like? I watched when Hogan was the main dude wrestling. Ivan the Terrible, yeah. Hogan. Elite Gaming is a huge horror fan. Check out Dead Meat and Found Flicks. Two YouTube channels that you'll just binge. Just got my first Epic Vault key, said Gavin. That's amazing. I'm trying to catch up in chat. Because we are probably about to end. Making sure I didn't miss something. Only Vinny Chippendale. Polly is a DJ. <laughs> Who has the keg? Haunty called. ECW had one wrestler that was awesome. I forget. <laughs> Rob Van Dam probably. Rob Van Dam was the actual like the best guy there. 
Like the best wrestler. Silent Hill is my favorite. That's what I want to play on this channel. Silent Hill, Dark Souls. Silent Hill is like... My Dark Souls. It's my other Dark Souls. I really like Silent Hill 4. I'm like, a, like I said, I like ECW instead of WWE and WCW. I like Dark Souls 2. I like Silent Hill 4. I like all the ones that no one else likes. Silent Hill 4 was awesome because they had there's ghosts in your room. Like you're trapped in your room, right? And you go to this other like dimension to do stuff, but you're like trapped in your room. And when you come back at one point, there's like ghosts haunting your room and stuff, and it's pretty freaky. This woman gets murdered, and then there's like a ambulance outside after you wake up. People get murdered. There's ghosts that can hurt you. That's the cool kind of horror. I don't like like aliens and I don't know. I like uh, goat killer ghosts. That would be super freaky in real life, you know? What if there was a ghost and it could kill you? That's why it's cool to watch on, like, a, a movie or something or a game. So if you think, think about it, what if that actually happened? That'd be crazy. You know, like, them Japanese ghost women type stuff? I vote for Silent Hill and Resident Evil 1 and 2. I have an 8-pack. It's just dropped with me being 63. Fatal Frame, baby. I love Fatal Frame. I'm not, I'm not as knowledgeable about Fatal Frame as uh, like Silent Hill and Resident Evil, but I do like Fatal Frame a lot. The first Resident Evil game scared the crap out of me. Never played it before bed. Remember when that zombie turned around and looked at you? Everybody remembers that. It was munching on that dude. I was munching on that dude, and it turned around and looks at you. That was freaky. Come on, six packs and eight packs are so 2020. Kegs is the bomb now, baby, says C. Roggin. What up, C. Roggin, if I haven't said it yet? I know I've said your name a couple times, but I don't know if I said what up. Dude, I love horror. Love it. There's certain types I don't like, but... There's, I like a lot of it. I can't really think of ones I don't like at the moment, other than, like, I don't like... I do, sometimes alien stuff's crazy. Like, if they make it really realistic, like, that would be freaky, too. You always gotta suspend your disbelief or whatever. You gotta, like, think, like, what if this actually happened in real life? That's why. That's when it's really scary. It's really scary when you actually picture it happening... So, like, imagine if aliens just came down right now and started killing everybody. Like, some realistic, freaking, realistic, not like some crazy, huge, weird-looking alien that you can never imagine. Like, a, something you can imagine in a spaceship that you could imagine being possible, actually coming down and actually killing people. Like, that's kind of freaky. Like, I can get freaked out by aliens but I'm, I'm more of like a ghost i think ghosts are scarier but aliens are kind of freaky like if it actually happened but you never know there could be aliens out there somewhere and then what if all of a sudden they decide to come here and just kill everyone and take over and their weaponry is like better than ours and they got like shields that we can't penetrate and it's just crazy and effed up because we can't even do nothing to fight back maybe that's what the sea is the sea is aliens. Let's do some conspiracy theories before we leave. The sea is actually aliens. They released the sea on Earth. And they're trying to kill us all with the sea. And then they're going to come. And that's what's next. Aliens are going to invade Earth. That's why you, that they've been seeing a lot of UFOs out there and stuff. That's why that, 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 that monolith thing happened. Even though it was like found out to be real people independence day now nah, it was more like mars attacks i think that was the one that got me like actually 
Because most of the time, like, Independence Day didn't do nothing for me. It was like Mars Attacks or something. You guys probably think that's funny that I got freaked out by that. It was one of those types. Like, most of the time, I'm like, oh, this is stupid. But one time, like, all of a sudden, I was like, whoa, what if this actually... That is kind of creepy. Alright, I think I'm almost done. I better save my voice. I gotta do an EverQuest video this weekend, and I gotta do spoilers tomorrow. And I'm starting to feel a little bit tight, so... <sighs> Man. Plus, this isn't going smooth. Alright, yeah, I'm about to get out of here, y'all. For real this time. Let's see where we're at. If we're, like, super close, I'll keep going. If we need, like, one more gnome or something, I'll keep going. Ah, we need eight. Let's see where we're at before we go. Okay, so I got 11 still. We're on 11 vault keys. I'm hoping to get, like, at least five more this weekend. Hoping to get at least one epic, maybe? And, like, five regulars. That'd be cool. The Walking Dead. Ooh, yeah, I used to watch that. I started watching The Walking Dead, like, halfway through Season 1, and then I watched it all the way to, like, Season 5 or 6, and then I quit. So now, what's cool, though, is I can go back and watch all the crap I missed. Like, once Rick was gone and stuff, I, like, quit watching. Like, before that happened. I think I quit, like, right when Negan killed everybody. Spoilers. That's, like, right around where I quit. Like, he killed Glenn and Abraham and all them. That's when I quit watching. Alright, let's uh, read some chat and then I'm out of here. Resident Evil 2 and those dogs get me every time, says Tree Rock. I know, they crashed through the window. Is that what you're talking about? Uh, C says, hey, sending nothing much, just getting my keys. Me too. That's pretty much the same here. Jimmy says, the first time I saw Nemesis, it was 3 a.m. and I had the lights off. I almost had to change my pants, right? Then you realize you really don't have to fight him. But it's crazy when you first see him, you're like, oh, crap, do I have to fight this guy? John says, it was eating... KFC. <laughs> Mike D, Silent Hill 2 soundtrack is better than Resident Evil. I could agree with that. I think Silent Hill 2 is one of the best horror games ever. I also like Resident Evil 7. That game's cool. Uh, Outlast. I love Outlast. Some of my favorite horror games. There's this obscure one called um, Cry of Fear, I think it's called. And uh, Simulacra... Um, it's more YouTube recommendations, really. When it, There's this cool one where you you find a phone, and then you have to figure out who the phone belongs to, and it's like a missing person kind of case thing. But the phone, like, talks to you, and, like, the person got kidnapped or something, and you got to figure out where she is and stuff. It's really cool, like, it's a really good watch on, like, or you can play it, I guess. It's called Simulacra, or Amy is Missing or something like that. Sarah is Missing. That's a really good one. It's kind of horror. Kind of like... I don't know. It's really fun. I like to watch it. But yeah, Silent Hill. Resident Evil. Outlast. Um, stuff like that. Cry of Fear's cool. It's an older game, but it's pretty scary and freaky. I like zombies, says Tim. Me too. Shaun of the Dead. Um, uh, what's it called? Uh, what's it called? Uh, something of the Dead. Day of the Dead. Uh, Dawn of the Dead. I think that's the one I like. Dawn of the Dead. Shaun of the Dead. Dawn of the Dead. Those. Hostile movies are scary. After them, I wouldn't travel, right? That's like torture porn. I've watched those, though. D-Rock says, so Independence Day, then. Got it. 
Aliens killing us. Oh, well, life got to end sometime, but I'm going to take some... Yeah, what if they do something crazy weird, though, and they, like, kidnap you, and then, like, they, uh... You know, you don't just die. What if they, like, steal your soul or something weird? There has been UFOs that shoot out of the sea. Check out the body double conspiracy for Biden. Ooh! <laughs> I should. His body double, double is my necromancer. My necromancer is his body double. Elite Gaming. I've seen every zombie movie made. Love The Walking Dead. Jimmy. Aliens wouldn't have to kill us. They could easily replace leaders and control us. Yeah, that's true. Mike D. Mamma Mia. Scariest movie ever. Yeah, what's that one movie where it's like Mama? That was pretty cool. The lady, like, the lady was, like, in the woods living with the kids, and then she, like, died or, like, killed her baby or something. Uh, that's what she said. Like James Brown, here's the cape, and you keep throwing it off. Yeah, I know. <laughs> You're funny. I love The Walking Dead, but I think it's lost the plot just lately. Yeah, I quit watching, like, right before that. I think they have done that already yet, Jimmy. Tim says help me. Uh, it lost a bit of magic when Rick left, right? Kurop says, I doubt aliens capable of interstellar travel would be genocidal lunatics, right? But hey, we've had uh, suicide um, educational purposes um, bombers, you know? So maybe that would be what the aliens would do. They like kamikaze. Walking Dead, I'm done with when Negan killed my second favorite character of the show. Yeah, I feel you right there. That's me too. I don't know if he was my favorite character. I just, that happened to be when I stopped. Unless they got their tech like the Klingons did. That's the moment I turned it off and rethought playing it. The zombies aren't zombies. They are stopping making The Walking Dead, but there is to be a spinoff with the bike guy and the old woman. <laughs> So you want a messed up movie? The mist is effed up until the end. Yeah, I've seen that. 28 days later, I've seen that too. That is exactly why I stopped watching The Walking Dead after that Lucille Bat murder. The first time Negan showed up, I was done with the show. Yeah, I feel ya. That just happens to be when I quit. I don't know if it's why I quit, but that's when, at least. I stopped watching Walking after Chick's bald head got cut off. Because Sling is messing up this episodes now. Genocide indicates we are the same species, but it would be more akin to us in ants. Crow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like with the aliens. All right, I think everyone's leaving, so I'm going to leave too. So, yeah, like, share, subscribe. Consider joining. It helps a lot. Um, tell your guild about the channel. Let's get the 4K by April 2nd so we can do Gems of War after dark and perhaps do another six-hour live stream. Maybe. At least it gives us a shot at it. If I start at 12 midnight, then I actually have a shot at beating six hours. That's like the only time ever that I'm going to have a chance at doing it. So that's the whole point, really, is to, you know, I'm not promising it, but it gives me a chance. Like, if I'm having a really good night, and I'm really full of energy, and everybody's, we're having fun, like, we can try. We can at least try. It can happen. It can be a thing. I could go till 7 in the morning or something crazy. Like, it's possible to beat it. Like, any other time, it won't be. Like, if we start on a Saturday, we'd have to start at, like, 4 a.m. To, to beat it. And I don't know if I can do that. It's, like, I'm harder. So, it's going to be hard starting at midnight, but at least it gives us a chance. But the only way that's possible is if we get 4,000 by April 2nd. Because I'm not doing it otherwise. That's what a reward incentive is. You do it if the thing happens. You don't do it if the thing doesn't happen. So, subscribe, you know? Make another account, tell your guild, do whatever you can. I would really appreciate it. I don't care how it happens. I just want it to happen. And, uh, yeah. See y'all next time. See you to uh, later for EverQuest. Come on, click on that crap. Click on that crap, EverQuest. Crap, click on it. Just click on it. You don't have to watch it. You don't have to watch it. Just click on it, bro. Just click it. Feels good. Just click it. But yeah, thank you for joining me, Crow Op Gaming, uh, Trevor, John, DC United, Kimmy, Crow Op, D Rock, Faceless One, Mike D, C Roggin, D Rock, Artless X Arts on Twitch, Kimmy 500 on YouTube. Go watch their stuff now. 
Mike D, Elite Gaming, C. Roggin, John Fitzpatrick, Jimmy Williams back again. Come on, Jimmy, come back again. Let's see you over and over and over and over like uh, D-Rock. Crow Op, C. Roggin, Dr. Mop Sister 2, appreciate you. Seeing you a bunch lately. With those compliments, I always take it. Bad Mr. Box, what up, Bad Mr. Box? Goodbye, Bad Mr. Box. Thank you for joining me. Uh, Tim, of course, U7, Kimmy, Elite Gaming, Faceless One, Jimmy, C. Roggin. Anybody I missed? Elite Gaming, Trey, Boba, Faceless One. Um, Kimmy, Paul, Miller. This is the best part, right? This is the best part. DC United ran through all those videos. Who else? Who's going to do it next? Brutus the Barber Beefcake. Jimmy Williams, Dr. Mop Sister, Mike D, Crow Up Gaming, Trey Bobo, Hamish was here. What up, Hamish? And goodbye, Hamish. And thank you, Hamish. Paul Miller, Ronaldo, Reynaldo. Thank you for joining me, Reynaldo. Appreciate you. Spoilers tomorrow, EverQuest later. Um, Strodium Wolf was here. Strogenrog was here. Who else was here? Anybody? We're almost done. Who was here at the beginning and then didn't say anything? Who Who was here? Who did that? Scout Tank. Thank you, Scout Tank, for joining us. Who else was here at the beginning and didn't say anything for a while? Um. Elite Gaming, Paul Miller, Trevor. Trevor Gibbs. Trevor. What up, Trevor? Goodbye, Trevor. Thank you, Trevor. I think that's everybody. So, yeah, I'm out of here, y'all. Have a good one. Doink the Clown was here. <laughs> Gotta rest this voice or else I'd keep going. But, yeah. April 2nd's the deadline. Let's get to 4K however we can do it. I don't care. And I'll see you later for EverQuest and uh, tomorrow for the spoilers. Have a good day. Have a good weekend. Get those vault keys. Peace out. Later.